I just want to say my name is Chris Rowe and I am the creator and founder and executive director of the Hip Hop Alliance. And we are out there on a mission trying to secure and protect fair wages and fair royalties and strong health and retirement benefits for all of the hip hop and R&B ecosystem, right? It's a God-centered company. Yes. And so it's hiphopalliance.org. Join us. It's free, all right? And I'll hook you up. And <laughs> these are the breaks. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Turn his blow. Press over TV. Hey, you're Shirley Kendra here. We're so live in studio. I'm telling you, we are going, we, it's crazy today. I'm super excited. We're live all over the world. Let me, hold on, I got my jacket. Let me get this fur on the ground. Let me slay today. <laughs> we are slaying today. We have Lord Proverbs in the building today. We are live all over the world. www.bronxnet.org. <laughs> tell a friend to tell another friend. Click on channel 68. Uh, I got my girl. The iconic DJ Sparky D in the building. Yes, yes. <laughs> to the gods, to the gods. We in the building. Yes, we are. Yes. So uh, this has become a, a, a show that's is different today. Yeah, right? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, we on, we on Skype, everybody. So uh, I hope you guys see all the, the how beautiful uh, she never ages. And I want to introduce I my... <laughs> I want to introduce my designer that's in the building that is allowing me to slay today. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> so you. So we're going to slay today. And um, Sparky D is going to help me out a little bit. And um, I'm going to eventually turn in and wear the jacket that the mayor wore yes. from your collection. Yes. Correct? Yes, wow. correct. <laughs> so tell the folks um, the name of your collection and what you do. Uh, my name is Lord Proverbs, and the name of my collection, or should I say my design company, is Tailored by God. And what I do is deconstruct and reconstruct everything that you can see that deals with all cultures, all races, and I put it together through fabric and make one beautiful silhouette because I'm a civil rights love artist. So, that being said, <laughs> I'm going to change a few times today. And this is beautiful. Just tell everybody what up. Tell me about the pocketbook aspect of this thing. Okay, so like I said, um, I can take everything from sneakers, socks, and everything and put it all together to one piece. The piece you're wearing right now is dedicated to all black women. So, I was inspired by this pocketbook. So, I took this pocketbook cut it in half because I try to keep some things still in its original context and then I built everything you've seen here. When you get one of my pieces, it comes with a birth certificate and tells you all the things it used to be. So wow. you're, you're wearing about 50 different things. Wow. Um, and then on top of that, it has hidden features and it's just to dedicate on the back if you see it says black Pockets. and beautiful. And it's just representing you. And you know, I'm a big girl, so I, you know, I like the fact that you know, I could just wear my little cute dress underneath and then I could just like throw this on and then I could be like, I could rock this thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then when I want to slay, I just do like one of these things. And I'm not even a model. I'm just, I'm just hanging out, you know, like this is a fabulous turning 50 something. Like this is amazing. So I just want to say, I'm loving what you're doing. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And I want to do this. Hey Sparky, what's going on? Yes. What's going on girl? You're looking really good. And the whole outfit, it really is you. Thank you. You need to work that thing. Unless Listen, don't let me slay. I will slay this thing, okay? Slay. Let me tell you something, Sparky. Go ahead. This is, this is so amazing, Sparky. But I want to, now I'm so excited about this, but I'm excited about you too. And I want to talk about what's going on. Because right behind me, if you guys, I just want to, I want to slide a little bit over here. Well, I don't want to mess up my garment, but I want to slide a little bit because it's all about you right now. Can we get a close up? Okay. So it's going down. We have your flyer up on screen. It's going down. I just want to make sure that everybody understands uh, what's going down. It's going down your big B day launch party for your Hallelujah fragrance that's going to be uh, coming out. You are uh, doing an exclusive right here on Crossover TV. We can take the flyer down because I want to talk to Sparky. I want you to see her beautiful face and I want you to know what's happening with her because she's doing some amazing things and um, I'm so proud of you. Can I just say, oh my God, can I just salute you and say I'm so proud of you? I'm really proud wow, of you. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> thank you for having me on Crossover TV. I'm telling you, Crossover TV is the bomb. So, Miss Kendra, on 
no other. We are in New York City, 603 Bushwick Avenue. It's my birthday. But most of all, this is the launch party of my Hallelujah fragrance line. And that consists of bath gel, body lotion, uh, uh, scrub, prayer oil. You have people. We have to work. And it's my fragrance line, Hallelujah. But that is it. the song of the pra fragrance line, the product line. It is Hallelujah Action Girl. Yes. You know, and I started this fragrance line way back in 2005. But now time to show the world what God can do through you, to you, and about you. And I'm telling you, the song is bananas. It was put by Herb Middleton, and I'm telling you, he has a list from Teddy Pendergrass, SWV, P. Diddy, Nas, wow. Bob Brown. Now he is doing Sparky D. Wow, I'm so excited. This is amazing. You know, I can't wait to come back and come up here and I'll be like, hallelujah. Hello. Yes. With my fragrance, <laughs> with my lotion. I'm going to be acting up. Yes. I'm going to cut up. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to be so excited. First of all, um, God bless you. And I want to say that uh, God has done some amazing things in your life from, you know, once where yes. you came from. And, you know, we know your story because... Guess what, Sparky? They can't erase yes. you. <laughs> no, they, they cannot erase you. They cannot erase you, girl. So uh, tell me about you can't erase uh, the docu series. Uh, you cannot okay. erase me. Yes, the docu series is called "You Cannot Erase Me." You can't erase me, and it's talking about my life story. Um, 17 years of crack cocaine, prostitution, domestic violence, and homelessness. But not this. That we are talking about the redemption. You know, the it's the all of that. You know, we all have a past, but the redemption is the greatest thing ever. And I'm so excited. You know, so you can't erase me no matter how hard you try, but God says no. So, you know, live here, crossover TV with my girl Kendra, doing the darn thing, Bronx Net TV all over the world. I thank you for having me. So y'all come on down, June 2nd, Bushwick. Go to Eventbrite, get your tickets, because it's $20 on Eventbrite. Okay. Well, Sparky, can you do a little rap, a little, do you see me changing? <laughs> they, yeah. Okay, so I'm doing, this is the mayor. So I'm being suited up. Um, he's going to walk around me a little bit. I'm being suited up now. This one is the, this oh, is the that. original. This is what the mayor wore. So. Oh, the next one. Sorry, the next one. The next one. So this is going to be, uh, he's going to tell me all about this piece. But he's going to, every time you see me, guys, I'm going to be like, you know, doing another something. I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to slay it. I'm going to try my best because I want to represent this design. Lord Proverbs is in the building. And hopefully that I can get my queens, uh, MC Shaw Rock. MC Sparky D, I've been talking to him that he doesn't pass you so that you guys can, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, Th this right here, giving a shout-out to 50th Year Hip Hop. This is my new version of the eight-ball jacket. Y'all already know. And okay. who who's best to wear it than the queen? <laughs> and I'm going to keep it short. So now simple. we got a couple of queens, and I want them to represent your wear and uh, everything. And uh, I want you to do the thing. Yeah. So do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we trying to do it. Sparky, I think you could do better than me. So um, I'm no, trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to see if we can get to Brooklyn. I want to get to Brooklyn, and I want, uh, maybe he can just, like, let me, do I turn again? Yeah, you can turn maybe, again. Because um, maybe, yeah. tell me one more time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, you so maybe, I got my hood. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, let me put this hood on. Yeah, just put Hold it on. halfway on that way. Hold on, so okay. Don't mess up your can hair. you still hear me, Sparky? <laughs> All right, I'm losing my clear calm. Clear Help me it's with my clear calm. I got you. Got you All right, so I can hear Sparky. But we're live all over the world, www.bronxnet.org. And this is so surreal right now that we are doing a fashion show online. We are celebrating 50 years of hip hop. We got uh, my MC. Yes, we got my MC on the line. Yes, honey, yes. And um, we are doing it. And you know what? You know, this is the thing, everybody. You know, you want to always celebrate. You want to celebrate. You want to let people know what's up. And this is what's up. <laughs> so um, I want to celebrate. So tell me a little bit about this jacket. Well, so, so um, it's fur on here. Yes, it is. So it's fur everywhere. Yes, to, to represent us. Long story short, what I do is take all different silhouettes from the 19th century all the way to native and put it all together. 
um, and an armored silhouette. This is Victorian, it's Thai, it's, it's, it's everything that you can think of, but all embodied into one silhouette to just show knowledge and appreciation to everybody. So that, that's what I do through the fabrics of life is just make sure and then like even the piece I got on right now is- Yeah, like, tell me about this. this I'm is, loving this. This is Juneteenth. You know, I just make sure I represent all of let us Let me fix you up, Jackie. You was helping me so much. Hold so on. Much. Yes. So let me fix you up. So let me zip you up right here. I appreciate it. This is teamwork. We do teamwork, right? Yes. Right? Yes. We do teamwork on this show. So, so I just want to say a big shout out. Did we lose Sparky B? No, she right there. She right no. there? Okay, Sparky. Okay. So what you think about all this, Sparky? I absolutely love it. You have on... The jacket that represents the A-Fall jacket we used to wear back in the days. That's truly hip-hop. That is the culture. And that he has on the long jacket that's representing June 19th, Juneteenth. You know, so we all know what that represents. Those are facts. Okay, so I'm going to turn around again. I turned around. I'm going to go to the 50th so you can see that. And I don't know if I, we could get Shy Rock or you guys to rock this stuff out because I want to see the queens all in one of these. I know um, there's going to be several queens in the building, but there's not many queens that could be um, MC Shy Rock and, um, and definitely um, not you, Sparky. So, um, but we're going to have a few queens in that building. Put them on and, pictures. Um, Looks like pictures with them on. That is fine for him. Yes, we yes. We can do Why not? Yes, and I love it. And you know, I want to do something, Sparky. I want to. Um, I really want to do more um, um, celebrating no um, the women of hip hop. So that's going to be um, something I want to talk more about. So we'll be okay. coming together, collaborating. Um, I spoke to uh, um, some great uh, women in the industry already. So we are going okay. to put this thing together, and we're going to rock out. Now I'm going to start. This is my outfit that I have on, my regular outfit that um, I I came in here. Wait, so I'm gonna take this jacket off because right. we're gonna get ready for the next one. <laughs> so I'm getting out of my clothes a little bit by a little bit, and we're getting ready for the next one that's gonna come. I believe that's the mayor, the the jacket that the mayor wore. So we just okay. <laughs> taking it off. So I want to do this, everybody. Um, I want to remind people why they need to come out. I want to. Uh, it's a hallelujah uh, phrase um, fragrance launch, and it's gonna be super amazing. We got Sparky D. She's gonna be, she's the MC, the iconic MC, I tell you. She might even bust out a rap for me right here. And um, I wanna say a big shout out to MC Shy Rock. We got Shaki Shay, we got Lioness Raw, we got DJ Wiz, we got DJ Muggs. And um, it's gonna be super amazing. And it's your birthday. We are gonna party like it's your birthday. <laughs> we gonna party like it's your birthday. So we are gonna have a we great show. We are gonna have a great yes. show. And I wanna do this. So, um, anything else you want to tell people? Because, you know, you got a book out there. You got a book out there. Yeah, actually, I do. I do. I have, a, I have many books coming up. But I want to speak about um, the birthday party. I want everybody to come out and really celebrate each other. It's the 50th um, hip-hop anniversary of hip-hop. So, I think we need to come together. Let's just have fun. Let's just forget about everything that's going on. Come get your smell good. Come get your prayer on you, your lotion, your scrub. Come hear the new song with you by Herb Middleton. Just hallelujah to you. Know, let's your hair down on that day. Coming. Uh, we got many, many things coming up, but I want you to come on. So, because we have a great time on Friday. Yes, I can tell you this much. I'll be in the bit. Oh, you like it? You love it? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> This is this is the <laughs> you like his because I've been trying to like I'm trying to talk him out of these things <laughs> I'm trying to talk him out of I'm trying to do it yeah. we are coming out yeah. and when we come out we are gonna slay yeah, okay we we're slaying in the jackets and we are doing it at the Hallelujah fragrance B Day launch. And honey, you never know what you're gonna see us all ladies in, okay? Cause we will be doing it, Sparky. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and this is be a, this is past my bedtime, just to let you all know. But I can make it for you. I'll do it for you. I don't do it for many, but I'm gonna do it for you. It's past my bedtime. I need my warm milk at night. 
you know, <laughs> get a little tucky tucky in. Right. <laughs> Don't take care of you. You're going to be well taken care of. Well, I want to do well, this. I'm wearing the creation by Lord Proverbs, and um, I am just truly humbled and blessed. And um, I'm blessed to have my girl Spark Sparky D. Give me something crossover TV. You ain't what? What? Tell me, tell me about it. Crossover TV. You can't erase kids. What you want me to do? Rap kids? Yeah, I sure do. You can't what? You can't what? Tell me something about me. They can't. They okay. can't even. They can't touch me. They can't erase no, they can't me. Touch you. <laughs> you always throw me on the spot, but this crossover TV with my girl Kendra doing the darn thing. She is just playing today. She is slaying with uh, 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 the uh, outfit she has on. It's just amazing. And the one she has on, the make literally for that outfit. So I want you guys to really hit up on Crossover TV. See how you can get a fabulous uh, uh, design from the gentleman. His name is Proverbs. Hit him up. Okay. So, you know, I'm trying to get some rap. And you know what, Sparky? Um, hold on a second. I need you. I'm gonna need you to rap something and say. I'm not. Uh, uh, you could erase me. I'm just. I, God. God put me here. You could try to erase me, but God put me here for a lot of things. And we've been doing some great missionary work. And I'm just kidding when I say you can't erase me. I'm just kidding when I'm just playing around because it's not even about me. It's about Lord Proverbs today. And I want to thank you and salute you. No, salute you, Queen. The king, the king of, of fashion. I want to salute MC Sparky D. I was just kidding, everybody. You can erase me. I'm just a girl from the... I was born in Brooklyn, and I live in the BX, okay? So uh, <laughs> you can still erase me, because God, you know, we got to be humble. Yeah. We got to be humble. I'm just kidding around here, okay? I'm modeling, so I'm just, you know, I'm trying to be in the flow. You know, uh -huh. Get, what, what, give me a, he was a model, so give me a pose. What should I do? I no, you, no, you rocking it just I'm the way you're doing it. it. Yes, honey, you yes. just rocking it just yes, the way you're doing okay, it. That's a sign. I just need yeah. to know, because I want to I wanna know what's up. So, you let me turn it around. Oh, not, yeah. Let me turn it around. Swami, <laughs> 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 you having fun? You having fun with me? Yes. This is on film set. Pick out what you want to wear. When we turn on Hallelujah, the girl, I want you to model, okay? I want you to walk the runway. Oh, yes! Yes! Info. You must like my style right now, Sparky. <laughs> yes, yes. It's the baby. Okay, it's I'm going to hit the runway. I hope we can do it together, though, Sparky, because we should do this together, because this is amazing. Can he tell us? I will us? be with you. That is the plan. I will be the only wearing my hallelujah um sports jacket but that's another t show they will go to the website and order there but i do have a sports jacket coming with hallelujah line yes the hallelujah line. and i'm going to bring you back here in studio uh when you get back to new york i don't know this time because i think you'll be in and out but you'll probably be yes. gone by the time i show but um we are going to bring but mc sparky d you cannot leave here until you give me a rap. Spark, spark, spark it up. Spark it up. Al, come on, girl. Guess even if Guess it, what? Even if it's from the I'm song. I'm going to tell you guys, come see me June 3rd, Shy Rock Day. I will be on the mic June 3rd. It is Shy Rock Day. <laughs> she deserved that day. Yes. Can I, can I save my rap for that? Yes, okay. All right, she must, okay. We're not going to put her on the spot. Now, we don't ask her twice. If she don't do it for me and I say it twice, then we're not putting her on the spot no more. I love you. No, I'll do and it. You, I'll do it. You going to do it? I'll do it for you. Okay. Um, you hey, sure? It's yo, okay. You don't know my history. 35 years in the game, nothing changed. Do you really want to be like me? I'm a bad of a rapper. You know what? I'm not doing it, Kendra. You always put me on the spot. <laughs> No, that was That's good. Okay. That was good right Yo, there. You don't know, no, Sparky, no, 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 she no. totally put herself somewhere different today just to do this for me. So um, we're going to wait. And, yeah. uh, and speaking of MC um, uh, Shah Rock Shah Day, Rock. it started right here in the studio. It developed right here. Uh, Councilman Andy King was in the studio, and they linked up. We put everybody together. This is what this show does. Yes. And uh, let me move over. Let me slide over so people can see the flyer. Um, I want to give a big shout out to um, Andy King, and I want to give a big, big shout out. It's going to be uh, the Collins brother, the legendary Disco Twins, the mighty, uh, mighty Sasquatch, 
And it's going to be held at Gun Hill Road. It's uptown in the Bronx at Magenta Park. And that's going down Saturday, June 23rd, June 3rd, no, 23rd, Ju June 3rd, 2023. And it's from right. 2 to 7. Okay, it's an outdoor event, so just come out and have a good time. I can tell you about that day. That day, they bring lots of things for the children. You don't have to bring nothing. They give everything away for free. And I want to give a yeah. big shout-out to um, Andy King um, for making that day possible. So it was Councilman. He was Councilman uh, Andy King at the time when he came up to my show and met Shaw. And uh, we were interviewing her up here, and it was a blessing. So this is what happens when you come here and network. This is what we do. Mm. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting cocky. <laughs> I'm not cocky right now. I'm just saying this is what we do because community is our community. And you know what? If I, if people have said to me, you are the voice of the Bronx. So I want to be the voice of the Bronx. I am the people's voice. It's not my voice. It's the people's voice. Mm. So I want to do this. I am coming out. MC Shaw Rock Day. I'm going to rock out all weekend. I'm going to get me a, a Red Bull, some energy drinks, or something. Okay. That's right. Come out to MC Shy Rock Day, June 3rd. All hail the queen, the mother yes. of hip-hop. In the midst of the 50th hip-hop anniversary of hip-hop, be there, be square. Mm. And then you'll get MC um, Swaki B. She's going to be performing. Yeah, yeah. When I say the Rock icon, the, the legendary, the legendary. 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 So just lock Me your dog. <laughs> and then don't forget, yeah. we're starting this thing out in, on Friday. So it's like a Friday, Saturday thing. So you can't go to one and don't go to the other. So you got to just like follow through. So you start out Friday night. Okay, Friday night. And don't forget, Friday Hercules. Night. So what? Friday night, we got Sparky D in Brooklyn. Tell them where we're going to be. 603 Bushwick Avenue. And we got it's going down. It's going down. 603 Bushwick Avenue. Hallelujah, your girl. The Hallelujah fragrance line is going to do a bus, a total bus that night. Bus a bus, okay? And then we'll be right there with Sparky D. And um, it will be hosted by MC Shy Rock, Shocky Shay, and uh, Lioness Wars, okay? So that's going down. Yeah. And then we're going to write to uh, MC Shy Rock Day on the 3rd. We'll be in the Bronx on Gun Hill in my stomping ground. That's close to my area. I'll be in a building. So you want to come out for that one. And then also, don't forget, we got to put that fly up a Hercules. That's a Mary J. Blige is going to be a uh, part of that thing. And so that's coming up May 20th. That's DJ Hercules. That's my friend, my new friend. And um, they're gonna, it's a private rooftop Times Square location. Now, I can't tell y'all everything, okay? So private rooftop Times Square location, Sun Goddess. And uh, Mary J. Blige is... Uh, uh, cognacs or what, you know, she's got some things going on that she, some launches, some things that she's done. So she'll be out there. I'm, from what I understand, there's a sneak out there or something like that appearance or maybe. So I don't even want to tell you all that. But anyway, DJ Hercules will be, uh, having his thing on the 20th, May 20th. And, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be really crazy. So the next, I'm in Albany tomorrow. We are going to testify to save, um, to save, yeah, what we do up here, you know? We gotta let people know that we need this platform. You know, I am your voice in the Bronx, and uh, I have been this voice for 19 years in the Bronx, so Absolutely. if it's for you, you see me in the street and you say, Kendra, I want you to talk about this. But when you say, Kendra, you're doing a great job, it always makes me feel really good. I don't care where I'm at. I was at a funeral one time, and the guy walks up to me, you know, he's at a funeral, I'm going from a funeral, and he says, you're doing an amazing job. And I took that. I said, I want to pray for you, my brother, because, you know, we both can't be at a place for a funeral and don't be at a funeral. Yeah. So um, first and, and utmost, I want to thank God, you know, so for everything that he gives us. Amen. Am I correct? Amen. And, and she's yes. also Dr. MC Sparky D. Woo! Doctor. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not hanging out with people that don't got right. that they don't got that in them. So if you got it in you and you see me with them all the time, because that is the vibe I'm looking for. And you have that vibe, and I love you. I like them glasses. And I, love you. <laughs> I love you. All of us out like on crossover the people because you love the community so much. I love my community, yes. Autism. So you just go out your Yes. Always, always a humble. You are know, humble, humble. So Thank we you. Hip hop culture, doing what you do for us. Right. Thank you, Robert, for the fact that 
I pray well. Come on out to Paul and Eva. Yes, I love you. So we got our, all of our events, Sparky. So I will see you guys pretty shortly. Uh, okay. I'm coming to pick up those glasses you got on. That's the only thing I'm missing for my little runway thing I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to pick those up from you, okay? So now, you are the queen, and I love you, queen. And I want to thank you for joining me on Crossover TV today. Uh, and I, yes, I am humble. This, this is a little charade that, you know, cause I'm doing this little fashion thing. So this is a little charade, everybody. So you know me already. This is, we just chilling out. We hanging out. We being fashionable and I'm wearing some amazing, amazing, uh, yes. I'm, I'm trying to model it. I'm trying to work it. And yes, I'm going to try to do this thing for Sparky as well. So hopefully Sparky will walk the catwalk with me. That's what's up. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. I love you. Salute, Queen. <laughs> salute, salute. So we'll see you over there. You got a new guest <laughs> coming through yeah. with the gods. June second. To the gods, honey. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> we right. love you, honey. I love you. Love I you, love you. Salute, salute, salute. <laughs> Sparky D, everybody. Yes, yeah, Sparky D was in the building today, and this is what we do. <laughs> We're gonna go to a video, and um, guess what? <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't forget, I'm gonna turn around. And um, we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop. I want to thank Sal um, from the Fever, woo -woo, from the Fever, for holding us down. And I'm gonna turn back around, and um, I'm just gonna say this is amazing. Tell me a little bit about this before we go to break. Well, real quick, this is actually a boxer's robe, so you are the champ. Woo! You know, so I the just champ do, is here. That's it. The champ is here. here. The champ, the is, champ here. is here. So salute to you, Ali. Yeah. And just from hip hop all yeah. the way to civil rights, all the we people that it. have been on the front oh. line. That's what this is all about. All right, we doing it. So I want to do this. I'm about to take this off, and I'm gonna get regular again because I'm not regular right now. I'm just so not regular. See, go. see. And I'm just going back to Kendra now. I'll be Kendra again. All right. Yeah. And okay. thank you. I'm going to be regular, okay? So, I'm going to do this. <laughs> so, can you tell me about your jacket? Hold yeah, on. I can. Before um, I go, wait, wait, hold on, everybody. Tell me about your jacket. Okay, your so, turn around. Lift your foot. Up. Okay, your yes. So, my, my jacket. Um, oh, I love this. Thank you. I love this. Woo! I'm, I'm not filling him up, y'all. I'm filling up this. <laughs> this is like fur, right? Yeah, it is. It's fur. Turn back around one more yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Fi I'm just feeling no, no, the it's fur. Good. It's good. You see this fur? I start going a little higher up. No, I appreciate it's it. It's fur everywhere. It's fur everywhere. Everywhere. Turn around. Turn around. So, yes, Lord so, Proverbs is in the building. So, so real quick, this jacket, each piece has a story, but this particular piece, I gotta give a shout out to the brother, uh, William. Oh my God. I forgot his name. I'm on That's the spot. That's okay. But That's okay. But well, we're gonna write. We're gonna come back. We're gonna go to a commercial, and he's gonna remember. Gotcha. So we'll be right back. Is that okay, everybody? Yes, please. We're gonna go to. We're gonna do a bus next week in studio. We got Anthony Cruz. We're gonna be celebrating. He's gonna be on Skype. He's gonna be going tune for tune from Jamaica, and we got Milton Sams. We're gonna be celebrating the birthday. I got it's you. your birthday. I got we you. We're gonna party like it's your Bro. birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> So lock your dogs, everybody. We'll be right back. We're going to a, a exclusive video. Anthony Cruz, everybody. Oh, Lord. Ooh, I love you, Lord. Ooh, I love you, Lord. Ooh, I love you, Lord. Ooh, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. If you should ever hear me, oh, Lord. I'm asking you to forgive me. Oh Lord, on me have some mercy. Have some yeah, mercy, I'm on my knees, begging for protection from my enemies. Please freeze them when they try to knock me down. Keep my feet firm on solid ground. Give me the strength to wake up down. Keep praising the morning time. Sing praise in the evening time. No matter where I go, gonna let the whole world know. I'm 
forever sing you praises. Sing praise when I'm going out. Lord of mercy, praise when I'm coming in. Lord, your love that you found and spread it all around everywhere I go. And if you come from a uptown, give him praise. If you come from a downtown, give him praise. And if you come from out of town, give him praise. With all of your might, just give him praise. He's worthy, so much worthy. I start my praises early. Ooh, as I wake, yeah, yeah, in the mornings. Ooh, I've learned to appreciate you, Lord. Want everyone to be in one accord. Spread your love and share your grace. Put on everyone on a smiling face. There is none like you, so merciful and true. I thank you, Lord, and every single day, give praise in the morning time. Sing praise in the evening time. No matter where I go, gonna let the whole world know, I'll forever sing you praises, sing praise when I'm going out, a lot of mercy, praise when Anthony Cruz, everybody. Did you like that video? You got to check him out because he is amazing. <laughs> he's going to be uh, my Skype and he's going to be holding me down. So get ready for him. He will be into. You like my pocketbook? These are pocketbooks on my arms. Look, pocketbooks. Pocketbooks? Okay. So uh, I'm so in the building right now uh, with Lord Proverbs. Thank, Thank you, you, Queen. Thank you. So uh, we are doing it. Uh, let me put this notebook down. Hold on. I'm a, I don't even know. Let me try to remember all my questions. This is amazing. You like this? You guys love this? This is so amazing. It's so chic and it's so soft. It's very soft and I like the sparkles and all the good stuff about this jacket. And uh, what do you call? What do you call this whole everything? It's a it's a piece of armor. It's it's called love armor. The it's pockets are everywhere. You have yeah. like the pocketbook, the pockets. This is perfect for the ladies because the ladies get to actually. Uh, Model and, and walk, you know, walk the streets of New York and feel good. We are, we're on the town and we're out and we're celebrating. Right. So this is like just amazing. So I love it. Thank you. I basically, I'm just trying to make the Met Gala feel a little bit more accessible mm -hmm. um, because the things that you see during the Met Gala, people only wear those once. Mm -hmm. And then second, they're not functionable, meaning that you can't even get in and out of the car. So right. I wanted to kind of tone minds down and make it where that you can get in and out of the car without 20 people. I'm not dissing nothing. I'm just trying to say, <laughs> I'm just trying to say I learned from that and then I just compartmentalized it. And that's what you're wearing. Yeah. I want to say thank you so much for coming through here and, uh, and choosing me to be a model. And um, it's just been amazing for me. Uh, going through so much. Uh, tomorrow we're headed out to Albany. Um, and I thank God that uh, I've been able for 19 years to be the voice of the people. And uh, I want to go be a voice in Albany so we can let them know how much public access means to our community. We are live all over the world at www.bronxnet.org. And I keep telling everybody to tell a friend to tell another friend. Right. And you click on channel 68 at the time of broadcast. We have a show that's going to, we have two shows in one week. Isn't this amazing? Two shows in one week. So we have um, a show on this coming Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, lock your dolls. Just get a pen. I always tell you guys, get a pen. So get a pen. We have a show this Wednesday at 6.30, okay, everybody? 6.30 p.m. Channel 68. Just lock your dolls. I got my purse on my arms. Nobody ain't getting my pocket. You know how we got another pocket that we put our pocket right there? The inside pocket, what we call it, ladies? <laughs> well, we the inside pocket. Now you don't need the inside pocket because you got the outside pocket. And you do have inside pockets what? built built into what? here. It's pockets all all through here. When you get one of my pieces, it tells you all the hidden pockets. So no, you have tons of pockets. Oh my God! All this is built so, in. This is so amazing. Thank you. So we are having an amazing time today in studio. Um, I just want to do this. Uh, Lord Proverbs, what gave you the idea to say, listen, I want to I wanna create art, fashion. I want to, when did you decide you was going to do this? Um, really, I want to kind of say all my life, but it, it took, 
years to kind of figure out how I was going to go about it. And um, before we had went to commercial, you had asked me about this jacket, so I'm going to start there. Um, the, the fur in this is from Bill Witherspoon, who is an icon um, in Harlem, who is an OG fashion icon who had passed away. And when he passed away, his significant other blessed me with some of his material. So I took this material and combined it with a woman's dress because I take, and then the sleeves are baby coats. So I take all different things. Baby coats? Yeah, these were baby coats. Oh my goodness. So I take different things and it still got functional pockets and Look everything at that, all in that it. all that bling for a baby? A baby needed all that bling? I just, right, they do. They <laughs> babies do. need bling? Okay. Um, but it, it's just a series of, of different things that may mean something to me personally. Right. Or something to you personally, and I just took it and then sculpted it into a fabric armor that we could actually wear because I just think that your clothes should kind of protect you. Wow. I love you. I love your work. Um, I love your story. Um, you were modeling back in the... You did a lot of modeling. You did a lot of modeling, man. Ooh. How did that come about? Um, How did you start modeling? Actually, um... <laughs> got me on the spot. I started modeling um, in Long Island and then from Long Island, I got my situation straight and then I came into the city and then went around, had no's from everybody, but God always says you need one yes. And that one yes happened to come from Wilhelmina, which was one of the top agencies in the world at that time, because it's about four that kind of rotate in between four to five in the, in the position from Ford to Wilhelmina. So at this particular point, they were number one. And um, they said yes. So um, when they said yes, about six months later, I was one of the top models in the world. Wow. Did over 27 <laughs> campaigns. And, and that's um, amazing. Yeah, and that, that's what actually helped me figure out how I wanted to be the type of artist that I am, you know, being in front of the camera and back of the camera. But the fabric allows me just to incorporate everybody. May it be from typography or this person's uh, fabric from their country or their T-shirt or whatever, women's rights, men's rights, gay rights, this, right? And it, I can just put it all together on one canvas and just let everybody get the love and pay the homage. I'm telling you. I want to go to a, a slideshow, if that's okay with you. Yes. Let's go to his... Uh, his photos, because I want him to break it down for us live right here okay. on Crossover TV. Okay. Can we do that, everybody? And thank you so much, Crossover. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to um, some photos right now. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, you're a blessing to be in the studio, uh, to know where you come from. And um, God shapes our lives, and he, he puts us on our path. And you have a, a, a tough path. In the beginning of life, we had a great conversation, a long conversation. I mean, our first conversation was forever. Yes. We had, like, hours on the phone. And I said to myself, God, you're putting him on this show today. So uh, it, it, he just, yes. So we are. You know what? So on that, I'm going to share a little bit of the conversation. So I've been on my own since I was 11 years old. Um, I was born in uh, 1975, but you got to think about 11. I was mid-80s where crack kind of destroyed everywhere. Yes. You know, so I was one of those kids that my family got hit by that wave. And in the process of that, we went from being a middle-aged black family or a black town, because I can't just X out my family. I exactly. see my whole town yes. change yes. to what we now call street life. But before then, it wasn't the version of street life. It was like good times. Everybody, you know, did exactly. what they did. Well, not exactly. I thought it was more like not the Cosby's, but like but in, yeah, the the, the, in, in the middle. In the middle, middle between right? The good times and the Cosby's, right? Right. Because right. like, right. I'm in the same era. I'm 53. You're fi right. But no, we are on the same. And era. you look great. You just look that happy. Look. <laughs> yeah. He looks great. He is 50. I said, you a fit? What? What? 50? All right, let's go to your slideshow. Let's go to your slideshow. Because I can't, I can't with you. Let's go to your slideshow. Okay, so this right here, this piece, um, I was actually doing a show for autism because I try to make sure that my art not only reflects um, through the fabric everybody, but even the shows that I allow myself to be a part of. So this was for autism. This particular piece that this queen is wearing is an Egyptian piece. Um, because I pay homage to every culture, but also our culture. Um, so I try to make sure that it's always somewhere in the fabric of the history of knowing where real fashion or just, you know, fashion and royalty came from, because that's the number one of my themes, that it's never a wrong time to dress royal, even if you just want to have a bathing suit under yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go to the next photo. Okay. 
We're going to keep these photos coming, yes. Okay, now this is also another show, and this is for autism as well. And this piece that she's wearing is just a, a, a movement. I, as a dancer, I try to make sure some of the pieces that I make could have movement on their own, and um, I can put a dancer in it. So this piece is just representing Earth Day and women, but also... Uh, Native American women, um, they say no sister being stolen and they represent all red. So that's what this is built with the camouflage, just saying that we're all soldiers as freedom fighters on the front line one way or another. Amen. Next. Yes. Oh, now that right there, that's me. And, um, you know, that's just... Not really? looking 50 at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that's a young man just happy to be here to, just to show love to everybody. And thank you again, Crossover and Kendra, for just sharing. And that's really what I'm all you about. You look so, like, into life, like living and loving and living. And that's, that's amazing. <laughs> hey, you know what? On that note, turning 48, I think I took this when I was 46, so like two years ago. And um, I would say that's how long it took me to kind of just feel comfortable in my skin from all the trials and tribulations we go through. Been through. Yeah. Because as, as, as you were mentioning, you know, being, being on your own and, and making life and, and, and doing all the things that you knew you wanted to do. But when did you know you were, when did you know you were going to be this designer, like this um, art, the, the creativity and, and art and, and loving and life of you, that? You know what? I, this is the original me. So, I was inspired, of course, by Michael Jackson and everybody you could see on TV, but the first artist was my mother. So watching my mom paint and do all types of stuff in the house, I was intrigued by that. And especially when she would paint the characters on the wall and then it matched our bedroom sheets. And then we had two different living rooms and, you know, we had a living room with the plastic on it that you couldn't walk in, then another living room. So then it kind of just caught my eye. So it was really my mother with the visual aspect of things. So I always wanted to imitate that. And then... Michael Jackson and other forms of art, of course, jumped in. So I would say from the point that I was born, now being able to execute it, like I said, my 44th birthday to present to myself was to be able to stand here at this moment. So it took me several years through good and bad situations to finally just re-educate myself. So that took another 23 years because... Wow. I love that. You just, you, you know, you don't, you don't feel afraid to spell it out. I love it. No, no. I mean, because like you said, um, long story short, I was a supermodel when I stepped away and almost committed suicide. She'll bring me back in for us to go on that part. But when I almost committed suicide, not only did I have a religious experience, but the most important thing was I realized that Everything all the way up until that point, and this was the year 2000, I needed to retake out of me from religion to everything. It was all other people's perceptions, and it did not work. It got me up to a point that I got into an industry with a whole bunch of adults that had issues, and I'm going to leave it at that because everybody know what that means. So full circle. The industry. Yes. Itself, the industry. The, and, and, and just life because I had went through some of the same things before I got into the industry. It's just rich people, the same thing, just rich people doing the same different kind of thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and predators that aren't rich that could right. be... Mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, which I didn't have none of those people, but I still got to speak for those people like how you speak for everybody. Yes. Um, but fast forward. So I sat down and I came up with a 23-year plan because I knew I would have to go back and get all the education and all the different forms of art. So here we are now in that last 23 years, which is 13 years from 2000 because we're in 2023 now. So this is the complete of my 23-year plan and just saying to people, don't rush. As long as God keep you alive, you can make a 23-year plan. People go to college for four years and another four years and another eight years because they're working on a long-term plan. So that's what I had to do in the last 23 years to re-educate myself and, and get the knowledge and the things that life tried to stop me from getting to. That's the best way to say it, because otherwise I would have been an engineer. I would have been who I am now, but just earlier right. and probably a lot more he advanced. He wasn't ready. He I, wasn't ready. God, was, you know, you know God, what? God, 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 that God, you know, you know, you talk about that road and stumbling down and falling down and then you got back up and right. then you said I had a 23 year plan. And that's because God put you on your path. Where does the name Lord Proverbs come from? Um, Lord Proverbs comes from that. Actually, the path started because when I first got homeless at 11 years old, I used to sleep in an abandoned church. And while sleeping in that church, actually, let me re rephrase that. It was abandoned at night. 
during Sunday, there was always church. So I was sleeping. I slept in there for a couple of years. I would sneak into the window and all the food that was left over during the week, I would eat it. So my mission kind of be began with God early. But stepping back, God allowed me to go through stuff so I could speak here and identify with yes. other people. Yes. Because I am who I've always been. Yes. Other than, other than shaking off what other hand. people have tried to yes. put on us. Because yes. sometimes we are living and we live yes. in other people's issues yes. or other people's beliefs. Yes. So um, I thank God that I was able now to stand here mm -hmm. and still be the same kid. If you look at my baby kid picture, I'm smiling. I'm the same person. I just had to go through 47 years of other people's dramas in, in, in the world. Other than that, I was good, you know, and I think if I had to go through that to just say the message more clearer for other people so I can identify with other people, then I thank God for that because I always wanted to be a part of something bigger than me. I love it. We're going to go to some more photos. Let's do okay? it. Okay. Let's go to some more photos. Yes. Okay. So now I'm glad you showed this. So this, as you see from the first picture, I like to do art that's constantly growing. So this piece actually started like this and it was a jumpsuit and then you seen the other picture of the young lady. Then I took it from a jumpsuit and turned it into a trench coat. <laughs> so, I love it. you know, and, and, and that's just pos partially just sharing the growth of things. Sometimes it doesn't have to be what it starts out. I love it. Next. And then this piece right here, um, actually, both of those are from the first magazine shoot that I got, and I want to say to you, thank you for allowing me to be on a TV show. We officially launched in July. So everything that I'm showing is really for educational purposes and mannequins. So what we're wearing right now doesn't normally go on people. I use it to educate so people could see how I started and where I started from to where I'm at now. I so, love it. You know? Next. And then this right here was a moment that was no more than like two, three weeks ago. Um, the mayor himself came to one of my shows, and um, we actually met the day before that because I was helping feed um, some of the homeless people on um, 34th Street. And me and the brother spoke, and he liked the jacket I was wearing, and the next was history. And he came to my show and wore a piece for me and just to help be a part of what I stand for. Thank you, uh, Mayor Adams. Yes, That's thank amazing. You. Thank you. And yes. that's just me paying homage to him yes. um, in the piece that you just wore. It's just because that's what my whole art is about, yes. paying homage to yes. everybody before me yes. that Five laid the it. ground, that it. laid the groundwork for all of Keep us. Keep that hand right there. You know. All right, come back in the studio because I got to do this. I'm saluting you. This is a salute to you. And I want you to keep up the great work. And I want to have you back. I'm going to have a full hour just you. And we're going to do all of your fashion and we're not doing anything else other than you thank you so <laughs> much i appreciate I you i love him and you know just watch out for him lord proverbs how can they um how can we follow you um you can go on social media right now um it's lord proverbs it's on the screen illmatic scream and um that's a homage to hip-hop too nas illmatic scream um but lord proverbs illmatic scream you'll find me and um, or you can contact crossover. You definitely okay. I might have to represent you, baby. You know, I got you. And we'll get I you. I got you. Thank and you. Uh, listen, so you, if you love if you love what you're seeing, I hope you can see the whole thing, the whole um, the whole lineup today of what I've been wearing, what I've been doing today with this uh, with this outfit. I love my purse on my you. sleeves, and this is so unique. It's so unique. So I'm just having a great time. We want to go to a few more uh, slides, and then we're gonna um, and then we're gonna close out. Okay, I'm not even going to do my video because I'm going to close cool. out and with my friend, all the photos. We're just closing out with photos. Cool. So he's going to talk us out, everybody. Okay, and um, just once again, still from that amazing night, also want to shout out to uh, Coco Cabana for actually housing all of us. And it was a showcase for the 50th year hip hop um, combined with FIT. And I was the designer that they featured that night. And um, while that's still on, I want to say something about the coat that the queen is wearing. It's the fur is to symbolize the black woman's hair because there's a picture on the back of her coat. So this coat is really a, a black woman, period. The whole. I can turn around. No, it's your, it's your piece that oh, you're my wearing. Piece? Yeah. Oh. So okay, on, let me stand up. Hold on. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know. Okay, we're gonna have to stand up for the rest of the show. Y yeah. Hold so on. <laughs> so you see, this this is actually a real uh, gay lady that actually went on a queen's head. I incorporated it into the back of this, but if you see the face, this face is the whole hair. So actually, the whole piece that she's wearing is supposed to symbolize a black woman's hair because y'all always rock your hair. <laughs> well, no matter you. how y'all do with your
what y'all do well, with y'all crown. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You it's know. a, it's always an honor. We're gonna stand up for the remainder yes. of the show. I want to pay homage. I want to thank you. Thank you. And uh, I want to thank you so much. No, thank for you for coming through here. Thank you. And doing this on Cross. Show. Yes, we're gonna keep going with the slides. We're gonna stand up for okay. the rest of the show because. I want to highlight some of these things. Now, talk about this moment, because you okay. guys seem like you have a really good relationship, okay. you and the mayor. So, all right, let me back up. Yes, we actually do have a really, like, cool relationship. You know, um, I met the mayor a couple of times before he was the mayor, and I'm normally filming, because I do a TV show like you, showing everybody love. And um, I just transformed it into the fabric. You know, it's just another extension of... So, fast forward, uh, Soul Summit is in Brooklyn, and um, I'm walking and I'm talking to my wife on FaceTime, and somebody comes up behind me and they snatch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was, when he told me this, I was dying, everybody. Matter of fact, let me put the mayor's coat on. I, hold on a second, let me get this right, mayor's. let me get that for you, you real quick. You get the mayor, <laughs> hold on. Now I'm gonna have to try to get out this. We live on Crossover TV, and I'll, I will shake my way out of this thing, because I'm gonna put the mayor's jacket on right now, hold on. I got you, queen, okay. you good? We gonna go back to the mayor's coat right now. We gonna now. go hold back to the mayor's. And when I go to Brooklyn, y'all better be ready for me, because I'm not playing. Here you go, put I'm one arm in there. All right, here we go. Yeah. I didn't know he was all jiggy with this thing. Yeah. This thing is so jiggy. Thank oh you. Oh my god. And so we getting jiggy with it. Let me fix my hair. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Let me fix my hair and get ready for this uh, yeah. fantastic moment. Hold on a second. Okay. This is super amazing. And Thank so you. let's let's talk more about this because so, we didn't we didn't I didn't even have this one on as long as the black, but let's talk a little bit more about this, okay? Okay, so boom, he snatches the phone. Talk to my wife. I'm going to snatch your phone. Boom. Slash your phone out your ear. And talk to my <laughs> wife. That solidified everything. So when I seen him at the, the feeding for the people, I don't like to say homeless people, the people that we was helping, mm -hmm. um, we spoke a little bit more because I had on another one of my pieces. And from that, it, it transcended into, well, I guess I can say it now because the Met Gala passed. He seen one of my pieces and was like, hey, I would like you. Can I wear that for the Met Gala? So I was like, hey, yo, I actually even got more. Long story short, he came to my show. Everything worked, so I appreciate what he did. And whatever they had with the Met Gala is whatever they had with the Met Gala. So the piece that you and him both wore is, like I said. Should I turn around? Um, you can if you okay, want let to. Let me see if I can. Let it's, me swing around. I have heels on, and I'm taking very good care of this piece. Thank it's you. It's pretty long, and I have to take care of it. It's a boxing robe, and what I do is, like I said, I make different silhouettes, but I also make different themes that we through history, meaning us as black people, um, have used and catapulted, um, may it be through the boxing ring, you know, you got Jack Johnson, you got Joe Lewis, you got Muhammad Ali, you got George Foreman, you got Sugar Ray. All of these people not only fought in the ring, they also fought outside of the ring. So, and then uh, May Mayweather. And this is just my homage to everybody who has physically fought in the ring and outside of the ring just for us. And then what you see is about six or seven different things oh. all combined into one. And um, the first thing was actually a curtain. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Wow. So what I try to do uh, without being long-winded is just take things that you wouldn't normally see and then with my skill make it be worth more. Because normal high fashion is not it's not, it doesn't cost a lot because of the silhouette, and the silhouette is the shape. It's because of the fabric that they use. I love this. This is nice. We match right now. Yes, Keep we talking. do. Keep talking. Keep talking. We match, cool. and look at this. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold it, on. You see this fur? Yeah. So it's from the fabric that they use that they charge a lot. So let's say, it, like, this piece, this piece of fur right here could be $600 just for this piece. So imagine if you made a whole piece out of it, you're automatically going to charge a lot of people a lot of money. I already charge you a lot of money just period because of my skill and technique of how I take something that wasn't worth something and make it into something else. So I want it to be more so about what my hands are making than about the fabric itself. You're not selling these pieces right now. You're more focused on... Okay, so I just Displaying wanted to get them. this yes. message out mm -hmm. that he's not selling these pieces right now. This is all about a museum. This is all about what he wants to bring to teach. And I just wanted to get that out. So I'll give that to the people. Wow. So 
At the end of the year, I'm opening up my own museum in Boston because I believe that if we're going to change the narration in anything, you need to start first with education and manufacturing and distributing. The best way of that is starting with history. So I'm opening up my own museum, and I am also using not only everybody else, but I'm using my own art to start the education of my exhibit, just like um, Picasso and everyone else who never sold their originals. I'm just showing my originals just for the educational purposes too that will end up in my museum for my legacy of my 12 grandkids and my 10 kids and everybody else's kids <laughs> and grandkids just so everybody could come and learn and actually touch things and, and pass the knowledge. I love it. I wanna do this everybody. Um, how do you have a family life with all this stuff going on? And where do you live? I know you're not going to tell nobody your address because right. I heard you got some crazy stuff in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't let nobody know where you live. <laughs> We've been talking. I'm like, I'm still trying to find out where he lives. Where you live? Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, where you live? So, 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 so right now I'm kind of jumping all over the place, all over the place, underground, above ground. You he know. don't want nobody to know where yeah, he lives yeah, because yeah. he really has some expensive pieces and... Like I said, I pay homage to you. Thank I you. want to salute you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. And this you. museum that he's talking about, we're going to be the first people following him out. And we're going to cover this. And, uh, and I want to see this come to fruition. So uh, lock your dolls, everybody. Um, Press over TV. We're going to close. He's going to close me out talking about uh, his pieces. Show another photo and close us out, please. I want to pay homage. Well, once again, and then you see as she wore the female eight ball jacket that was featured here on Crossover, and the left corner you see another brother uh, wearing the other male fem the other male eight ball jacket, just once again paying homage to hip hop. Um, and I actually did these about seven years ago, so these are not even new um, because everybody's doing 50th year hip hop. I want to let y'all know I was already paying homage to hip hop and everything I do into the culture, into the queens, into the kings that have laid their lives um, on the front line. So that's what you see there. And then this piece, uh, The Lion King, which everybody can um, understand that whole story. Uh, I'm we Simba. Got, we got one more photo? Yes. Yeah, and we got one more. And then this, which you've seen from the other picture with the brother that was wearing the Egyptian piece, that, that coat that he had on, I finally tainted into a full dress. So you actually got to see two different versions of the same outfit of how I started it one way and made it into a jumper and then decided later on to turn it into uh, a full trench. And then I took the cloak and then turned it into uh, a dress for a woman. So I like to interchange things. All right, we're going to be, I'm going to, we're going to close out. We're going to be on our way to, uh, we're going to be seeing Sparky D for her big event that's coming up. It's going down all, I'm going to give you this real quick, everybody. So don't forget, this is going down on the second Friday, the second, 603 Bushwick Avenue, 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. The Hallelujah B Day for Sparky D. MC Shaw Rock will be in the building. And don't forget, everybody, it's then MC Shaw Rock Day. And that's 2 to 7, everybody. MC Shaw Rock Day is June 3rd. Uh, we'll see him out. The flyer's up. And uh, we'll be out for that, too. So we have a long weekend. And, uh, yes, I want to thank you all for tuning in, for locking your dolls with me today. I'm going to, like, kind of, like, start taking things off. The robe. Just, you know, just let... It's like a robe. I could wear... You know, I could do this as, like, a robe, a fashion robe. I could throw something under here. You could wear a bikini could, under it. <laughs> you well, could wear... Not, you, 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 I'm, I'm just saying, know. my point is, it, 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 it's for all occasions. <laughs> it's for all... I, I mean, I, I see a lot of things you could do with this, ladies. So this is, like, super... And then, just, just imagine that the male can wear it as well. So yes. it's, like, universal. Yes. So this is a great thing about this that I love so much. And uh, I just like, like, tying it up and, like, you know, like, if I want to have that loose feel and then... Okay, so I want to say uh, thank you guys for joining me on Crossover TV. I want to thank uh, Lord Pro Proverbs for joining me in my building. And I want to thank uh, Sparky D. <laughs> MC Sparky D. D. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Next week, we'll have Anthony Cruz. We're doing the launch from Jamaica. And uh, we'll have Nelson Sam's in the building. Lock your dolls. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. Oh, this is Shaka, the crossover show. Wow, Please. thank you. Lady Kendra. Ah, large of a seven at a time. Mr. Lover set up. Big up.